You all better sit down for this. Kyle Bush. What else is there? Is there anybody else on the circuit? Kyle Bush. Not only beat him on the track today at Lowe's Motor Speedway, he beat him on pit road. Unusual qualifying for Saturday night's All Star race. You got to make three laps and a four tire pit stop. Blew them all away, including Jeff Gordon. Jeff Gordon says, hey, if Kyle doesn't make a mistake, he's going to be impossible to beat. And for Jeff Gordon to say that, you know he knows what he's talking about. Kyle Busch, 23 years old, just turned 23. He's not only making news on the track, on pit road, in victory circle, he's won eight times, NASCAR races this year. He even dominated the news in the garage area. You really better sit down for this. Danica Patrick, IndyCar star, better make it while you can up there, baby. He's coming. He says, the Indy 500, hey, yeah, I'm going to try it. Why not? When, I don't know. And it might have just been blowing a little smoke. But we talked to Jim Ost, the Toyota boss, the big cheese for Toyota racing in America. He confirmed what Kyle was talking about. Not just IndyCar racing, Formula One. This fall, Kyle's going to Japan. Formula One, I think you could call it a tryout. Hey, 23 years old, Lewis Hamilton? You better win while you can. Kyle Busch might want to take a few of those trophies away from you. Kyle Busch, Formula One, Indy car racing. Hey, he's got NASCAR locked up. I think that it's going to be a Kyle Busch year. Is anybody else playing this game? The other news from the track today, not very good. Suitcase Jake Elder, legend, a legend. He's the guy that taught Dale Earnhardt Sr. how to drive. He's the guy that taught Dale Earnhardt Sr. all those nuances about setups and chassis designs. He's the guy that taught Daryl Waltrip how to win races in NASCAR. He's the guy that taught Davey Allison. He's the guy that taught Neil Bonnet. He's the guy that almost won the championship with Terry Labonte when Terry Labonte was a, almost a nobody. Jake Elder. Engineers didn't have any, any time for them at all. Didn't even know what they were. He would take a ball of string, four rulers, and set up a race car. And he was always right. You just listen to him, and he'd solve your problems. He was like a traveling medicine man guy. That's why they called him Suitcase. When he showed up on the front porch, you knew there were going to be some changes in your race team. Changes for the better, changes real quick. And if you were a slacker, hit the road, Jack, you're out of business. He would do whatever it took to win, and he knew a lot. He won championships, 68 with Pearson, 69 with David Pearson again. And he was right there with Dale Earnhardt Sr. when Sr. was winning those races back in his early days. And he was always right. I've never seen a man with more confidence in what he was doing. Sterling Marlin once drove for him, and they were at Charlotte. Jake's thing on the right front spring was 1,700 pounds. Didn't matter what the car was doing. 1,700 pounds on the right front spring. Well, the car wasn't handling very well. Sterling said, Jake, um, about this 1,700 pound spring, maybe we could, before he could even finish the sentence, and Jake never stopped walking. Don't even think about it, boy. Don't even think about it, boy. Don't even think about it, boy. 1,700 pounds. That's, that's what it's going to be. Jake, Jake Elder. He's not doing very well now. Richard was down there, Richard Petty, Dale Edmund were down there checking on him. Over in Statesville, they don't have much of a pension plan for NASCAR crew chiefs. And Jake didn't stick around long enough to get a really good pension from anybody. But he's a legend. Jake Elder. And we're trying to find enough stories that we could put in a family newspaper because Jake was. He was noted for his stories. He had some great ones. Oh, he had some great ones. It's going to make a great book when somebody writes it. But until then, we'll just have to see what we can come up with. And that's the story. Kyle Busch on the pole for the All-Star Race. Jake Elder needs a little bit of help. Mike Mulhern for the Winston-Salem Journal. JournalNow.com. Lowe's Motor Speedway on the eve of the Sprint Cup All-Star Race.